All right, you guys. It is April 3rd at 11 o'clock at night, and I'm in my office. I was editing some videos, about to go to bed. I have my daughter this weekend. I keep playing with my hair because I just don't like my crap all on my face. But anyways, I was in my office, and I was editing videos for episode 6. So this is the first clip of episode 7. So anyhow, I was in my office, and I had my daughter, and she was asleep. she was trying to go to sleep in my bed with Kenzie, and I hear, I get a text message from Kenzie saying, this was her exact words, your daughter snores just like you. Cool. Poor child. <laughs> Poor child. Yeah. I, I snore. I know I do. When I'm tired, I snore even worse. But anyways, um, so I come to bed, or I come in my room, and... Gracie's asleep and Kenzie's about to go to sleep. I turn the lights on because I have to show you this. So not only does Gracie snore like me, I tend to drool every once in a while. I'm not a drooler. I'm not. I can't. Yeah, okay, I kind of am. But anyhow, so I pick Gracie up, put her in her little futon bed in my office. I come in my room and I have this drool stain like on my side of the bed. Come on, kid. It's my side of the bed. So, I can't sleep with my kid's drool stain. So I have to blow dry it out. There it is. This is happening. And good as new. <laughs> yeah. As Kenzie examines my pillow now for drool stains. Thanks, babe. We'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, YouTube. Well, for me, it's morning. <laughs> uh, woke up a couple hours ago and had to take Gracie to school. So, uh, for the past about hour, hourish, I've been working on uploading the new YouTube video and also just kind of tweaking my Recreate Royalty Facebook page. Uh, added a shop now button to the Facebook Facebook page and just working on some stuff with the recreate royalty uh, website uh, but let's uh, go get this way in and all right guys so I'm wearing a hoodie shorts and socks today so let's see where we're at 172.4 I'm not too worried about my weight up and down right now because I know whenever I start eating super super clean uh, my weight's going to drop with the cut and the shred so right now I'm just trying to maintain between let's just say one. 70 on my scale 170 and about 176 so about five to six pounds so it's going to fluctuate but that's a good weight for today i'm going to get back to some editing and some working on the website and we'll see you guys on the next clip all right so i have been up since 6 45 this morning had to take gracie to school Got some work done on the computer earlier Took about a 30 minute nap. Well, I ate breakfast, then took a 30 minute nap. Now, we're on our way to the gym. As you can see, Kenzie looks real excited about it. I am actually really excited. She is really excited about it because we normally work out on, here babe, start the car. We, we normally work out on uh, Saturdays and Sundays as well. Or if we do go on Sundays, it's like just a quick, Quick cardio workout, so it's not really like anything exciting. But this weekend, we didn't work out on a Saturday or Sunday, so we took two days off, which our bodies really kind of needed. So we're about to hit the gym. I actually woke up to a text from my nap from my buddy Corey, so he's gonna be hitting chest with us today. So it's gonna be a good time. We'll see you guys at the gym. Just got to the gym. Got Corey here. This guy. This guy over here. 
And we got Kenzie here. We're about to hit chest. All right, you guys, just finished up chest workout. Uh, gonna hit a quick little pose. Um, trust me, I'm nowhere near cut ready for this posing, but you gotta practice. So I'm gonna hit a practice for a minute, show you guys a little bit of the posing routine. Um, it's still rough, so like I still have the routine from kind of like last year, but we'll see what we can do. But uh, here we go. Right here. And that's the posing. Like I said, you guys, it's still rough. I wanna get some like movement down in there with the hand gestures and kind of make it more fluent, like in transition from, basically I'm gonna do a front pose, which you saw. I'm gonna turn to my back pose and then side pose on my left side because I feel like my obliques are better on that side, but we'll see what the side pose looks like with my obliques on each side and bicep, you know, what a side pose looks like for each side, uh, come closer to competition time. And then I'm gonna turn back around and do my front pose. Um, I realized last year at Optimum that I liked it with my leg kicked out, like to the side, like my left leg. So it makes that waist look a little bit smaller. My back is a little bit wider this year. Actually a lot wider this year, I feel like. Uh, so you guys, like I said, it's rough. I've practiced a little bit, but this is actually like the first time on camera that I've practiced. So you guys are getting a sneak peek. Like I said, guys, I'm nowhere near shredded, but I will start cutting probably in the next two weeks. So you guys will see that. We'll start fasted cardio here within the next three to four weeks, and you guys will be there for that too. So you guys, end of workout, chest day in the books. <laughs> You catch your girlfriend watching your own YouTube videos while doing cardio. That's love. Thanks, babe. He's the best. All right, you guys, just finished cardio. Uh, about 25 minutes. Watch some uh, Christian Guzman videos. Super motivational. Like, I just started following and subscribed to Christian's videos probably about. Uh, six months ago but uh, just following his journey and seeing like everything that he's doing with his gym and you know him being 23 years old uh, man like it's it's crazy motivation because I mean I'm 10 years older than Christian and this guy has a gym a successful gym that he's put a lot of work into um, he's got alpha elite clothing and uh, you know it's I can just see his passion behind everything and I, I see a lot of like the younger me and him you know and he's a go-getter and I respect Christian for that you guys I'm gonna put the link for his bio and every all his stuff uh, YouTube uh, in my bio below um, but you guys we're about to get out of here and we're about to eat and I really appreciate all you guys for like subscribing following and commenting on my stuff on YouTube uh, Instagram, Facebook, everything, you guys. I mean, the support from this series is really giving me a suit, like super motivation to like do my absolute best. And that's all I really can say is I want to basically, you know, I, I want to motivate you guys to be the best that you can be. So anyways, if you guys have any questions, have any comments, anything like that, please comment in the box below. Or you can send me an email. Um, you can go to jacobwooks.fitness. There's an e there's a contact page on there, and just shoot me an email through that. The link will be in the bio below. But we'll see you guys on the next clip. We're about to go eat. All right, you guys, on the way to go eat, and me 
Kenzie were just sitting here talking, like, one of our future goals, and it's not, I mean, it's basically, like, together. So, like, we kind of, we have a lot of the same goals. Like, she, here, babe, record this for a second. I gotta put my seatbelt on because it's unsafe to drive without a seatbelt. So, basically, like, she talked about, she watches a lot of, like, Buff Bunny videos, and I watch, you know, we, we really watch a lot of stuff that's motivational and with the same goals my hand have. looks really big in this camera uh, but I mean we have a same, we have like the same goals in life like I you know she recently wanted to be wanted to do cosmetology um, she's very good at doing her own makeup very good at doing like her hair and everything like that but she recently changed and thought about she wants to be a personal trainer and I would like to do the same thing uh, we basically want to be on like our own schedule so like if you know she's training I'm training you know we have recreate royalty coming out and she helps me with like a tremendous part of that and like I really haven't said this but like she kind of heads up and like works on the women's side of things like what I need to buy and I'm going uh, <laughs> what I need to buy you know for the women's side of everything um, so we're just talking about, you know, like, we want to eventually open our own gym within, like, literally, like, my goal with that is not only to have Recreate Royalty come out, you know, in May, like, mid-May, late May, uh, but also within the next year, like, we really want our own training facility, whether it be just, like, a little storage space that we train people out of. I want to be there to help, you know, the viewers and everybody that, like, hits us up on Facebook and Instagram about training. So, I'm about to park, and basically she's talking about, hey, what did you see? Like, what? I watched a Buck Bunny's video about, she did like a tour of her home gym, and basically I was saying like, we need to buy like one piece of equipment like every month. Like her boyfriend for her birthday bought her like a sissy squat machine, and it was like $500. And with as much money as like we make in the bar industry, like, we could definitely like make that work and then she had like they bought a smith machine and it had like two cable pulleys at the top and then a cable pulley at the bottom basically we're just talking about how much money that um like kenzie was saying how much money we make serving and in the bar industry and to me obviously as i stated in the recreate royalty video like you know if you have a goal and you have a dream you have to chase it you know nobody's gonna do it for you so we can't sit back and expect somebody to help us financially we can't sit back and you know oh well this person didn't do this for us or this part you know it's not about that like it's about going out and following and chasing your dreams and I feel like recently you know Kenzie's very passionate about that like she's passionate and wants to help people and wants to better herself in the gym way like she doesn't want to compete right now but maybe eventually in a couple of years maybe you know who knows but um you know we work out together and i've seen like her start of her transformation and she's looking great and you know she she has a story to give people you know with her background and her lifestyle you know that a lot of people might need to hear and we won't go into detail about anything but she's just she motivates me and you know just like I was saying in the earlier clip on this video you know just being able to put videos out there for you know YouTube it's not for my own sake or for me to go back and look at yeah it's always good to go back and look at what you've done in the past and where you go to you know in the future but for me putting these videos out like I hope that I can just motivate like one two of you you know hundreds you know eventually hundreds and thousands of people to better their lives and you know that that's that's my main goal and that's obviously Kenzie's main goal so we're in the works of putting a gym together as well as recreate royalty we have very high goals very high dreams very expensive dreams but um, we're gonna make them happen so we just stopped and we're at Cajun steamer uh, it's opening day for baseball today. Kenzie's not a big baseball fan. I'm not really a big baseball fan either, but... I'm a baseball fan. I just don't like watching it on a TV. Like, I'd rather, like, go to a game and have the whole experience. She's right. Me too. I'm the same way, but it's opening day. I watched opening game last year, and, you know, every year I try, I try to catch opening game or a little bit of it, but this year, 
we're gonna watch the opening game or a little bit of it here at Cajun Steamer. Um, they have fish. I mean, it's a Cajun place, so we're gonna go in here. We're gonna eat and see you guys later. So Kenzie and I decided it's such a nice day outside that we're gonna wash our cars. So yeah, my car is pretty filthy, pretty dang dirty. Car is even dirtier, but about to get it clean and let's get it done. Oh, car is clean. It's all nice and shiny for the time being until the pollen gets all over it. But I was cleaning out the inside and found this little ball right here. I just want to throw it as far as I can or make it bounce as high as I can. Hit that guy. Don't hit that guy. Don't hit him. <laughs> But anyways, you guys, that's the end of episode seven. Hope you guys enjoyed it. There was a lot to take in. I think a bug just flew in my mouth. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, end of, end of episode seven. Uh, you guys, thank y'all for watching. Please like, subscribe, follow Instagram, like the Facebook pages, and everything else. See you guys on the next episode. Peace, y'all.